An Appleton man in Milwaukee for an event says he called 911 during an emergency and no one came. This morning he emailed us for help. Hamza Al Karadi tells us he was chased at gunpoint while driving home from the WWE Smackdown at Pfizer Forum. Orion Jenkins took his email, drove to Appleton to meet him today, and brought his questions back for Milwaukee police. I came to Appleton to talk with Hamza Al Karadi, who says that he was chased through Milwaukee streets at gunpoint. He called 911, but the police never showed up. The entire incident was captured on dash cam. It's still unclear if the suspect was ever caught. And the big question now is why didn't police ever show up? Hamza's concerned there's a lack of accountability here. The show was awesome. We exit out of the, you know, the, the Buck Stadium. A brother's night out ending in fight or flight mode. That's how Hamza Al Qadi describes March 22nd. We get into our car, we're maybe four miles into the drive. And that's when things start to escalate. Hamza said he saw another car weaving in and out of traffic. Seconds later, his brother noticed the driver of that car waving a gun at them while stopped at an intersection. You're at a red light and they pull out a gun. What is going through your mind? You have your brother in the car with you. I, I'm literally like shell shocked. Like, I don't know who this is, what they're trying to do. The first instinct is call 911. Call the people who are supposed to protect and serve. Dashcam video recorded on Hamza's Tesla shows a driver chasing the car through the street at gunpoint. At another red light, someone gets out and hits Hamza's window with a gun. All of this happening as he's on the phone with 911. I was more traumatized by those operators then the two lowlifes were attacking me. Hamza showed me the phone calls. He spent nearly a half hour with dispatchers trying to give them their location in a city he doesn't live. And I'm naming stores as I'm passing by and he keeps telling me, sir, I don't know where that is. I can't help you. And it's like, look it up, man. Hamza said he stayed between two Milwaukee intersections for six to seven minutes, hoping to buy enough time for police to find him. Video shows him turning around several times. He says when the person chasing him became increasingly aggressive, he headed to the interstate. Nobody shows up. That minute I get on that freeway, it's almost like the operator is like, ooh, not my problem anymore. Sorry, you're out of Milwaukee. Let me transfer you over to the next jurisdiction. Milwaukee police confirmed they received the call and responded to it. But since Hamza was driving through different jurisdictions, the call was transferred. He followed me over 25 miles out to West Bend. At West Bend, that exit that I took because I, I was like, please don't hang up. Hamza said when he took the exit, he heard what sounded like three gunshots. He flagged down a police officer who took down his information and asked Hamza to stay put while he left to investigate. Hamza said he didn't feel safe, so he left. An hour later, that officer called back, the last time he's heard from any law enforcement official. Not one callback since that incident. Now Hamza is asking TMJ4 to help him find out why police didn't respond more urgently. A question I'm hoping to answer as I use Wisconsin's open records laws to seek more information from local authorities in the days and weeks ahead. Reporting in Appleton, Ryan Jenkins, TMJ4 News. Again, we learned about this story because Hamza emailed us. If you have an issue, you need help, send us an email, news at tmj4.com or chat with us on Facebook or Instagram.